if you have a PDF that needs to be split up so that different people receive different pages, this tutorial is for you. One tool you're gonna to need to make sure you have is Adobe Acrobat. Now I have an Acrobat DC installed on this computer. If you're not sure whether you have it or not, on a Windows computer, go to the search bar. On a Mac computer, go to the search bar as well and search for Creative, oops, Creative Cloud. When you open up Creative Cloud, search for Acrobat, and if you see Open, you know that you already have it on your machine. If you see Install, that means that you need to get it. Remember, if those options aren't available at all or Creative Cloud's asking you to sign in, make sure that you sign in with your school email account, and if you're still having trouble, just contact support at gcds.net. Once we are sure that we have Acrobat, let's go ahead and open up a PDF that we wanna split up. For example, this one is called information for three different people. All of the information on this document, I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. This page is for person one, this page is for person two, this one's for person two as well, and here's one for person three. They're all on the same document. Somehow I need to split them up. Well, there is actually a tool for this. If you look at the top left, there's a, a menu item called tools. Let's click that and you're going to see an option called organize PDF. I'm sorry, organize pages. Let's click organize pages and here are all of my pages right here waiting for me. Now, what I'm gonna do, I, I can't quite read them because they're so zoomed out. I'm holding down control on my keyboard and scrolling up and it's zooming in. You can also hold down control on your keyboard and press the plus sign to zoom in further. Now, I can actually read the text on this page. It says student information for person one. This one says person two, so does this, so does this, and this one's for person three. So when I click each of these, they turn blue. If I wanna highlight multiple pages, I can either drag a box, or if I need to highlight these two and this one, because these are all for person two, I can hold down control on my keyboard and click each of them. And now two, three, and four, these pages are blue. Let's go back to page one. This is for a person, person one, and I'm going to use the extract option at the top to extract these pages. I get a couple options here. I can delete the pages out of the original document after I do so, that's entirely up to you. I can extract each page as a separate file in this case, I don't wanna do that. And once I've decided on what I want these boxes to be, I press extract. And here is the first document. It's got one page. I'm gonna zoom out on this page and notice how there's no follow-up. At the top of Acrobat, I have now two files. This one, which has just one page, and this one, which still has all five. So let's go ahead and click two and hold down control on my keyboard, click this one, click this one. These are all for person two. So I want all of these to be together for my next recipient. I've highlighted all of them. I press extract again, and I'll press extract one more time. And here we go. This document has three pages and I can scroll through them now. Here's person two, person two, person two. Notice how the first document is still completely intact. I have one more page down here. This one's for person three. Make sure that's the only one that's highlighted blue. Press extract. And now I have information for person three in this document. Last step is just to save. So I'll go into my first document that's for person one. I can press control S or I can go to file, save. Uh, I can go to my desktop, and that's on my computer. You can choose where you want to save this to. And this one's for person one. I'll go to this one, save. Go to my desktop again. I'll save this one for person two. And my final one for person three. And if we visit our desktop, we now have three completely separate documents out of the first one. I hope you enjoyed, I hope this was helpful.